Hello and welcome to Leaders of Tomorrow Season 10. It's been 10 seasons of empowering entrepreneurs such as yourselves and bringing you perspectives from across the globe through conversations like the one that we're bringing you today on our Eye on Dubai special series from Dubai. I'm Sunanda Jai Seelan. Today we're bringing you all the conversations around Jitex 2022, a gathering of anyone who has anything to do with the technology and digital ecosystem. We're talking the big picture when it comes to the economy, trade, technology and digital. And today we're putting the spotlight on digital Dubai. What does it take to come up with the policies and strategies to enable this entire ecosystem? What does it take to ensure that the opportunities for small businesses are there? And also, what are those specific opportunities, cybersecurity, data security, all of that in this very freewheeling conversation? Listen in. At the JITEX 2022, one of the biggest tech events in Dubai, major global tech players discuss the latest technological trends to understand what makes Dubai a global startup ecosystem. JITEX Global unifies the world's most influential ecosystems, advancing business, economy, society and culture through the sheer power of innovation. The tech and startup event unveils new worlds of promise from the transcendent power of 6G to the vast virtual business ecosystems of the metaverse. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us here on this interview, really talking about Digital Dubai, talking, of course, about Jitex, and we're here at Jitex, and the opportunities for entrepreneurs who are based here in this region, including, of course, our Indian viewers. Uh, I want to start with Jitex and really talk about the opportunities that are being presented for anyone who has anything to do with the tech space. Yeah. Can you, you know, sort of set the ball rolling by giving us that? First, context? I would like to thank you for being here today. And uh, Jitex, as you know, it is international events. Mm. It is a chance for all uh, co companies and the government and the private, from private sector to government to, to see what technology is offering today. Yeah. You know, now in Jitex, you will see a big number of attendants in Jitex. We have almost four different events in Jitex. So we have a Jitex. We have also for small, uh, small and medium business, which is called something uh, Div Salam, and we have also AI exhibition at same same place uh, during Jitex uh, time. With Jitex, I think you can experience and you can see what other government they can offer, mm -hmm. how the services is provided today, the channels, what channels they, they are adopting. So you can see some channels is adopting mobile based, some channel is adopting metaverse based, and also you can see a lot of experts exchanging knowledge and exchanging, exchanging also about some projects and building relationship with the, with the others. So okay. Jitex, it is like a hub where you can see government, private sector, mm -hmm. and even students and the university joining together in order to think about the future and how the government from our side as a government provide a service for our, our citizen and creating, increasing our happiness in the society in general. Okay, uh, I want to talk about digital Dubai and the fact that while as an organization and an entity, I understand it is uh, not very old, digital and digitization and technology of course is nothing new to the city of uh, and to Dubai. Just talk to us about the different pillars that you have. I understand there are seven pillars that you look at and that you're you know, very interested in. Dubai, they have maturity with the digital transformation, high maturity. We are number one as e-government in the region. Mm -hmm. We started since 2001. Mm -hmm. We started with the electronics governments. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to the mobile government in 2013. Mm -hmm. Then we move to smart city. Mm -hmm. Today we move to a digital Dubai. Okay. And that movement because in, uh, in 2015, where is the smart city, the government decided to start engaging the private sector in certain limits yeah. to provide the service. Mm -hmm. In digital Dubai, there is one new pillar added, which is data, 
mm. and the government want to see how the data can play main role mm. in government decision and how the government can be more smart, mm. more proactive dealing with the, with the, with the uh, activity in the city. Yeah. Today in Dubai, you can see more than 200 different nationality. Still, we can provide a good service for them. Still, we are scoring the fifth smart city worldwide. Still, we, we can score number one in three elements, mm -hmm. in the, uh, in the uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. in the contents, in the services, and we are number four in technology. Sure. So with that kind of, uh, of movement, uh, Dubai decided to redesign or re, uh, re-engineer their self by combining all digital elements in the city okay. to be under one umbrella. Okay. To, today, if, I, if I'm talking about digital Dubai, I'm talking about smart city, mm. smart government entity, mm. Mm. Dubai security, mm -hmm. Dubai data, mm -hmm. Dubai statistics. statistics. Mm -hmm. So all of us, we should sit and creating one digital strategy for a city. Yeah. And from the execution part also, we have to work as one team mm -hmm. in order to be able to execute. Sure. You will see a lot of view, different views. So people who's executing for the smart city, they have their own view. Security people in digital world, they have totally different view. Now we have we are sitting under one umbrella to okay. create, to provide, and to start designing Dubai services in a way it is designed with the, all the elements who's involved with the digital digital uh, transformation of the city. Okay, uh, I'm sure that's not so, been easy because you know you are of course talking about technology that's future focused, yes. and you're talking about a strategy that's bringing all of this together. How have you done that? With the, with the strategy, so we have a strategy talking about government service from a strategy point of view. Mm. We are supporting, we have support role also in digital economy. And we have support, we, we are leading in digital skills. Okay. So we are also, we know that there is a, a challenge always will be with the digital skills. Mm. Uh, we have a, a different ages, different needs in, in mm. the city. So we are, we consider as a youth society but still, we have uh, disabled people in our society. We have also elderly people in our society. We have high skill yeah. citizen in our in our society. We have low skill citizen in our society. So with that kind of, of challenge, always always we are we are looking to how to customize and design the service to 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 make all this type of people who's living in our society happy mm. and provide different channels also. Mm -hmm. So you will see still some people, they want to go to, to a counter, mm -hmm. having a human interaction. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they still, they want to, it's, it's okay for them to deal with the mobile uh, interaction. Sure. Mm -hmm. But our kids today, they are more to gamification approach. Mm -hmm. So they want to deal with the metaverse, mm -hmm. with the gamification approach from the, from the government services. Mm -hmm. So always with that, with that, with that philosophy, that our strategy is also building that skills, where make our 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 team in sure. the government first, then in the private sector, mm. able to provide that kind of services. Sure. We have also data. Mm. We we believe that the data is the main deliver uh, elements. If we would like to create a happy society, mm. so the government should be knowing what you need in advance, mm. can read also the system and they know that you're, you want to renew something mm. and the system sh should react in, in favor of you, you as a customer. Mm. And also some, some policy need to be revised because we have also collecting different uh, input and feedback from, sure. our, uh, from our customer. We are evaluating our services. Mm. And from data point of view, we, we, we look to the service and re-engineering -engin sure. the service. We have also uh, security mm -hmm. as a part of our element. So we need to wrap all that transformation mm -hmm. with a secure environment. Privacy is part, part, part of that concern. So we have a digit digital transformation where 
Even the private sector engagement will be part of our digital, digital uh, transformation. And all that transformation need to be either the government will play the executor sure. or regulator in some part okay. or support in some, in, in some part. So sure. we need to see totally that make you feel that you are living in the best uh, city in the world. Mm. We need you to relax and enjoy your life in Dubai. So the system and the services should be smart and re-engineering themselves and finishing your uh, your your transaction in very sure. and, and smart way. Mm. We need you also to be fully, we need our system to be fully connected. Mm. So no need for us to ask you to bring any paper. Mm. This is why in 2000, in 2020, mm. the government started 2016 talking about paperless. 2020, we finish the paperless initiatives. Okay. Today in Dubai, no need for you to finish any transaction. Mm. You, you, no need uh, to bring any paper with you. So the government is fully connected, fully smart. It, hel it will help you also to enjoy your time here in Dubai. Mm. Uh, take care about yourself, sure. your kids, and also uh, enjoying the Dubai multicultural approach. I have to take a quick uh, commercial break on that note, sir. We'll be back in just a moment on the special coverage. Do stay tuned. Welcome back with us here on Leaders of Tomorrow. This is our Eye on Dubai special series. You were talking about data security. I just want to go back to that. Specific for entrepreneurs who are looking at data security. You know, what are perhaps you talk to us really about the opportunities? You spoke about it briefly, but what do you want them to know about just the big picture when it comes to data security? So Dubai is with a digital transformation. Mm. We are moving very fast in that digital transformation. Mm. Today, we are talking about cashless. Cash, yeah. uh, cashless approach, mm. where there is a lot of security concern in that part. We are talking about also metaverse approach, mm. where there is a lot of security mm. there. Blockchain also as implementation, mm. you will see a lot of security there. Mm. Instead, with the mobile-based application and other, other, other things. In Dubai always, even in digital Dubai, we are fully smart security application that we implement in the city. Mm -hmm. So even in the government level, mm -hmm. I can see the network, I can see the ports, I can see the, uh, the uh, securing the email, mm -hmm. securing the infrastructure mm -hmm. without even calling anyone. Okay. So it, the, our, our network is fully connected, mm -hmm. fully secure, and always we are revi re revising our, our, our systems uh, building more layer to the, to, the, to the system. From the private sector, it is a chance for uh, entrepreneur okay. to provide a solution for them, to sure. provide uh, uh, software, either cloud or, 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 or in-premise solution as a security. Sure. And as we know, everything becomes digital today. Sure. Before COVID, people talking about normal media. Mm. Now you will see people starting adopting digital media. Okay. Before COVID, people talking about marketing, mm. people now adopting the digi digital, digital marketing. Mm. Before COVID, people talking, talking about only education, mm. which is normal education style. Mm. Today, talking about also smart education. Mm. Shopping, your behavior has been changed during sure. COVID. The, your dealing with the restaurants has mm. been changed. So you will see number of people who's uh, asking or, or making a delivery mm. more than people even going to the restaurant. Mm. So the behavior of the people is, is changing, yeah. sector is changing. Mm. So more opportunity for entrepreneur to start providing systems, securing the system sure. to, in order to complete the transaction from service 
to the payments sure. to make sure that, that that transaction is secure and okay. their customer is happy also. Okay. Uh, you were talking about the pandemic and I do understand that it is because of the kind of data that you have that during the pandemic you were able to effectively ensure the transmissions were being controlled. Yeah, Dubai story with the pandemic, uh, uh, with the COVID, I think it was uh, positive. Yeah. Uh, it is not only outside, even internally. Mm. Even for us as a government, understanding what is the data, this is why you can see Digital Dubai started because value of the data. Mm. For any crisis that uh, will happen, especially with the COVID, you will see three different opinions. So you will see economic opinion, who want to keep the city open. Mm -hmm. This is worldwide. You will see police or military op op opinion, mm -hmm. who think that this is a COVID, people will lose their own job. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is more crime will be there. So we need to take action regarding that one and be more restricted. And you will see the health mm -hmm. opinion in that, in that case, where the health people always, they will look to how to clothe the city yeah. in order to make sure to control the diseases. Without having data, always this is three hats will having argue between mm. time to time. Sure. In Dubai, what's happening in, D in Dubai? Dubai is assembling a community, mm. uh, a committee. That committee, all three players there and other entities there who's providing a service and those looking to a data. Mm -hmm. So in Dubai, in the beginning, we started to connect the private sector sure. and the government. Sure. So all hospital is connected from bid point of view. Mm -hmm. So you can see all bid available in the city. Okay. How many ICU also available in the city? Sure. Medicine, mm -hmm. what is medicine? Where is the shortage? Yeah. Where is extra medicine? Mm -hmm when the medicine should be moved from this place to another place mm. and also implants mm. and where the where the patient should go mm. so now when you have and you have central call for that cases mm. so if, if there is any covid case mm. the car knowing where they have to go mm. hospital is already uh, ready mm -hmm. they will receive that patient and they will deal with the case in very efficient way okay in the beginning, and you will see worldwide, you will see the ambulance car going to one hospital, they reject him, going to another hospital, they yeah. reject him. And that kind of story, it is not, not, not in Dubai mm. because of power of the data. Yeah, so with the data, you can change the things. And we, with, with, with the COVID, we can understand how the private sector can play sure. a positive role in the society. Sure. They can, how they can play also uh, making sustain the society mm. from that. And I would like to thanks here, delivery people sure. who is delivering food where people frightened from COVID. Mm. The uh, delivery people who's, who's delivering uh, medicine in some mm. cases where we are sitting at home. So that kind of private sector and how the private sector can play and grow during the, the, sure. the, 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 the band pandemics. It was like good story uh, how we should look to digital transformation and the relation between the private sector and the government sector. Okay. Uh, could you talk specifically about the opportunities for entrepreneurs, whether they're Indian and you know perhaps looking at expanding this year? See, in Dubai, we have, uh, I think, if you talk about specially, let me focus more to the Indian today. Yeah. And I think is in Dubai, especially, you can see it is, we are multicultural city. Mm. So if you will come to Dubai, you will see that you are still in your country. You mm. can easily, you can, you can find your food, your school, your community. And you can also seeing someone from your neighborhood and you can start your own, your own business. In Dubai, we are adopting the technology in very fast way. Mm. In Dubai, we are a brand in a region mm. where if you provide a service and you can, if you succeed with your solution, you can grow from Dubai to worldwide. Mm. We have Souk story, uh -huh. we have Karim story, mm. and we have many stories in Dubai where people started from Dubai and they grow. Mm. We have very in, uh, airline connection, mm -hmm. like Emirates airline. Mm -hmm. 
you can you can build your own business from here and connecting to Africa and other and, and, and other places and Arab region. In Dubai, easy for people, if you will invite them to Dubai, they will come to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Not only to see your business, it's also to 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 visit the city, sure. seeing different different uh, things, different initiatives. From technology, we are brave enough to adopting and legislate the new technology. Mm -hmm. Today we have we have policy for the bitcoins, mm -hmm. we have policy for the NFT and digital asset. We have we are talking about the metaverse in the city. So there is something new and very fast growing in Dubai. Okay. Maybe you can see even from the media point of view. Mm. Dubai from the media, you will see a lot of people multinational national here. So easy for you also to have this is multinational approach, multinational uh, growth mm. where uh, you can experience what other city, uh, other other citizens doing. Sure. And you can also uh, either changing your product or uh, going ahead with your with your idea and sure. promote it as, as as a new product and brand. Okay, uh, my last question then for an entrepreneur who's watching our interview, what advice would you want to give them? Well, uh, our advice it is a chance for entrepreneur mm -hmm. to grow in a place where they can add value. I think we can see the the. Things like Amazon, mm. Uber, Karim, mm. and usually what I hear from other entrepreneurs that start to copy mm. someone else's idea mm. and start after you copy the idea, re innovate the idea in order to have that, that idea uh, more uh, creative than, than, the, than the, the original idea. Mm. Uh, it is also for uh, people who want to disturb the market. We have also now cashless approach. If you can provide and disturb a market, we have story here in Dubai regarding since we announced the cashless approach. Mm. So we saw people who's providing installment as a cash, cash, cashless approach. Uh, we saw people who's, who's, who's also uh, giving like a credit for, 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 for people to buy. Sure. So there is different model. Which model will be, uh, will run okay which model will, will not run okay, we don't know. But in general, it is a chance for innovation, for seeing opportunity. We have metaverse approach. Sure. So our question is, you can add something in the metaverse. You can build something around the metaverse. So good having you here on the show with us. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you. We're out of time on tonight's conversation, but we will continue bringing you all the conversations that matter around the digital ecosystem, around AI, around metaverse. Do stay tuned for the rest of our special coverage. For tonight, it's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.